Hi, I'm Dr. Max, and we're here at Hair Dr. Max Restoration Center in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Today we have Paul who had his procedure exactly six months ago, plus minus a few days. And he, he is here today for the follow-up for a scheduled PRP treatment and an SMP procedure also scheduled for you as well, right? Okay. So at six months, we usually would like to see patients because it's kind of an early stage of the hair growth. We, we typically see between 40 to 50% of the expected density at that time because the transplant hair is not coming back all at one point. It's, it's kind of a staging process. And the, with transplant hair, they change in a little bit faster than they normally do. So we, we, we typically see by 12 months, we see about 80% result. Now it's 40 to 50%. And we're pleased to see that we actually probably even a little bit better. So just to give you a comparison, this is, we did a big procedure, 3,500 grafts, which involved uh, restoration of the anterior part here, as well as the crown area. And we can see that here, the density is already higher. Actually, Paul had his hair cut just what, yesterday? Two, two days ago. Two days ago, so it's actually, shorter but you can see the density of the gaps are already closing nicely and look at the crown these areas are completely dark with even short hair so by six months it's definitely better than expected and it's about 40 to 50 percent of the expected density so how was your experience with us the experience for me was Amazing. I went to interview around town mm -hmm. with a few other clinics, doctors, and when I came to see you, I felt safe because actually some of the other wrong advice maybe I got about using a machine, you said you would prefer to do each graft by hand and that you would be operating through the entirety of the procedure rather than having a physician's assistant or somebody else. And the fact that you, mm -hmm. from start to finish, were involved in the process Plus, I read all the reviews on Google. I researched a couple months before I chose a place and asked around. So between the opinions I heard and then the personal interaction that I had with you uh, and everybody in the office, I, I'm, I felt safe to choose this place. And I know I didn't choose wrong, for sure. Great. The, the, thanks for the such nice words. But in general, I think what we try and our mission is is to change the industry itself. We sort of pioneers in this sense. I think that physicians need to be involved with their hands-on more because basically when we have people who are uh, coming just uh, are hourly paid, right? They don't see patients before and after, okay? Right, right. But who is actually interested and in, uh, invested into the procedure is the surgeon. And if I'm being able to be there and to perform procedure, to supervise everything what it's uh, going around, surgery is not only uh, taking grafts and placing them. There's a lot of process going in this surrounding area and be, uh, if, if physician present there and can um, uh, observe everything what's going on, it also helps to with overall outcome of the procedure. So, um, um, what do you think? Would you recommend? Absolutely. Us? The confidence I have, even right here, because there was a there was a yes. lot missing here. So this had like the the V. This instantly improved. Well, they fell out. I'm, I travel around the world for business, and as I'm traveling now, I just feel I feel more, way more confident in the photos that I have to take. Opportunities. Um, extremely happy. So when asked if I would do a review or partake in an interview. They didn't have to convince me. It was a pleasure. I said, absolutely. I'd love to uh, let everybody know that come here. This is the place to be. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so My much. My pleasure. Thank you, Doc.